डियर लिसनर वेलकम टू माय चैनल टॉपिक इज एनर्जी एंड पावर ऑफ डिस्क्रिट टाइम सिग्नल दिस इज द सेकंड वीडियो ऑन दिस टॉपिक लिंक ऑफ फर्स्ट वीडियो इज गिवन हियर ऑन द फर्स्ट ट्रैक वी सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एनर्जी एंड पावर फॉर डिस्क्रिट टाइम सिग्नल इन फर्स्ट वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल सो वी विल जस्ट सी द फॉर्मूला फॉर एनर्जी एंड पावर दिस इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर एनर्जी ऑफ द सिग्नल एनर्जी कैन बी फाइनाइट और इनफाइनाइट when our signal is a periodic in nature or periodic with finite length then energies exist for that particular signal power this is the formula for power and average power of the signal is uh, finite and non zero generally for periodic signal therefore when the signal is periodic in nature and indefinite length we calculate the power for that signal this is very important for energy signal power must be zero and energy should be finite and for power signal energy is infinity and power is finite these are the formulas that is infinite geometric series formula and finite geometric series formula which we require to use while solving the problem example 1 find energy and power of the given signal signal is given signal is divided into two parts for positive part this is the signal and for negative part this is the signal now first we solve for the positive part this is a formula of energy minus infinity to infinity mod of x of n square we put the value of x of n as 1 by 2 as it is already positive so we are getting the same answer it is 1 by 2 raised to n and square we can exchange this term so we just write down to here and outside the bracket n and as this is the signal is active only when n is greater than or equal to 0 therefore our limit change that is from minus infinity to infinity limit change from 0 to infinity here after making the square we are getting the answer 1 by 4 raised to n as 1 by 4 is less than 1 we can apply the formula of indefinite geometric series and by that we are getting the answer 1 divided by 1 minus c and c is nothing but 1 by 4 after solving we are getting the answer 4 by 3 therefore energy for the first part is 4 by 3 now see the next part which is active on the negative side value is 3 we put the value of the signal after that it is from minus infinity to minus 1 3 square raised to n uh we just exchange these terms and after that we are getting 9 raised to n now the formula is exist for the 1 to infinity therefore we change the limit and when we change the limit this n becomes minus n therefore 1 to infinity 1 by 9 raised to n as this value is less than 1 we can apply that formula and that formula is nothing but c upon 1 minus c where c is our 1 by 9 after solving we are getting 1 by 8 therefore energy for the total signal is 4 by 3 plus 1 by 8 which is equal to 35 by 24 when the energy is there for the given signal generally power is zero but it is not the case every time so we check here what is the power of the signal this is the formula for power of the signal we put for x of n 1 by 2 and this is present for the positive side so limit change from minus n to n to 0 to n after that we expand by using finite series geometric formula 1 by 4 n plus 1 minus 1 divided by 1 4 1 by 4 minus 1 this value can be finite because this value that is it is exponential decreasing function but here when we put n as infinity then 1 by 2 into infinity is infinity and 1 by infinity is 0 therefore we are getting the power 0 and same will work for the negative side here initially limit is from minus n to minus 1 9 raised to n after that we change the limit from 1 to n and here it becomes 1 by 9 raised to n applying the formula and here when we put the value of n as infinity we are getting this term as 0 therefore this power is 0 so both side power is 0 therefore total power is zero so when the power therefore when the energy is finite we can get the power as a zero next example find energy of the given signal x of n is 1 2 3 4 now from the signal the signal is of definite length and by seeing the values of the signal it is a periodic in nature therefore there is no need to calculate power for the signal we can calculate the power but we get the answer zero is equal to minus infinity to infinity mod of x of n square signal will goes from 0 to 3 and the square of each term 
therefore e is equal to 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square equal to 30. Find the energy and power of the given signal x of n is equal to u of 2n. Now here don't confuse this is unit step signal but we are using down sample so we are not taking all the samples from the u of n but the sample at the location of multiple of 2. Therefore, if the signal contains 10 values on the positive side, we are taking only 5 values because it is 2n. Formula for the energy minus infinity to infinity. Therefore, here the limit will uh, present for positive side 0 to infinity. Initially, we write down 0 to infinity u of 2n. But we are not taking all the terms, but it is infinity by 2. Therefore, summation from 0 to infinity by 2, 1 is equal to infinity. Now, we try to calculate the power this is a formula for power after that we put the limit now here initially we put the limit from 0 to n because it is present only on the positive side but now check for the two cases for example n equal to 4 then 5 values are there in the signal then we are taking the location uh, multiple of 2 therefore 0 2 4 therefore we are taking the value 3 so formula is n plus 1 divided by 2 and here n equal to 3 4 values are there so we are taking the location 0 and 2 that is 2 location therefore when the signal goes from half the way therefore summation is this summation is n plus 1 and halfway is n plus 1 by 2 after that we take the n as common and do the simplification of the signal and after that we are getting the answer 1 by 4 which is equal to 0.25 so for this signal energy is infinite, infinite and the average power has a particular value which is 0.25 next find energy and power of the given signal signal present is only on the positive side it is same example like our previous we put instead of x of n we put 1 by 4 raised to n then we exchange this term make the square which is equal to 1 by 16 signal is active only for the positive side and by applying the geometric series formula infinite geometric solve, series formula the answer is 1 upon 1 minus c and after solving we are getting the energy as 16 by 15 if we try power then we get the answer 0 here instead of x of n we put the signal that is 1 by 4 is 12 after that we exchange the terms make the square after that applying the geometric series formula for finite we are getting this value this value is 1 by 16 is, it is exponential decreasing but when we put n as infinity we are getting this particular portion as 0 therefore the average power for this signal is 0 now this example see similar to previous only the value change pi by 9 raised to n u of n again first we try with the energy this signal is active only for the positive part therefore it is 0 to infinity pi by 9 raised to n we exchange the term it will get pi by 9 square and raised to n 25 by 81 and by formula it is 1 upon 1 minus c where c is 25 by 81 and by solving we are getting the answer 81 by 56 now here if we try to calculate the power we will get the answer 0 because x of n replaced by 5 by 9 raised to n then we exchange the terms square of 5 by 9 is 25 by 81 applying the formula of summation for geometric fi finite geometric series we are getting this answer again this answer is less than 1 but here when we put in n as infinity we are getting this term as 0 therefore average power is 0 find energy and power of the given signal x of n is 1 by 3 raised to n u of n minus 1 plus 4 raised to n u of minus n now first we require to check the signal is vary from or valid from which range to which range therefore u of minus n is nothing but the folding of the signal therefore signal will be active on the negative part this is u of n when we take the folding of the signal negative part comes to the positive and positive part comes to the negative therefore signal is active when n is less than or equal to 0 and next is u of n minus 1 u of n minus 1 is nothing but the delay of the signal by one unit therefore we shift the arrow to the left by one therefore signal is from 0 to infinity but we can see that from here when the uh, value at 0 is 0 therefore when we multiply 1 by 3 
raised to n into 0, we are getting 0. Therefore, we can treat that the signal is active from 1 to infinity. That is why the signal when n is greater than or equal to 1, signal is active. Like previous problem, we first, now we know the range of the signal, we can calculate the energy and power. 1 by 3, the signal is active for 1 to infinity and geometric series formula is C upon 1 minus C. Therefore, 1 by 9 divided by 8 by 9 is equal to 1 by 8. This is the first part. For the second part, the signal is active on the negative side. Therefore, minus infinity to 0. 4 raised to n square. We exchange this term. 16 raised to n. We change the limit. That is from minus infinity 0 to 0 to infinity. 1 by 16 raised to n. And the formula is 1 upon 1 minus 1 by 16. Answer is 16 and 15. And total answer for the power is the addition of the first part and second part which is equal to 143 by 120. Now, we try to calculate the power like previous example and we found that the power is 0. Here, we just require to put our x of n. We require to check the signal is active from where to where. Here, as it is 1, so it is not n plus 1, it is only n term. When we put the n as infinity, here we are getting the 0. And similarly for this, here only we require to check that the signal is active from minus n to 0 minus into 0. First, we make the square 16 raised to n. We change the limit from 0 to n, then it will become 16 raised to minus n. Again, we apply the formula and here on the left hand side, as we put the n as infinity, we are getting the answer 0. Find the energy and power of the given signal. Not uh, necessary that every signal should be either energy or power. Some signals are neither energy, neither power. This is the example where the signal represents, uh, shows neither energy, neither power signal. See, the signal is x of n is equal to n when n is greater than 0 and 0 when n is less than or equal to 0. The functional representation is similar to the RAM signal where as n increases, our n is also increases. We first try to find out the energy. This is a formula for energy. Here, the formula is nothing but the signal and square that is the n square. Now if we expand this 1 to infinity 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to infinity square answer is infinity. Therefore the energy for this signal is infinity. Now we try with the power. This is the formula for power. We put x of n as n. Now limit n tends to infinity and here 1 upon 2 n plus 1 the signal is initially we put the limit minus n to n but the signal is active only when n is greater than 0. Therefore, limit is 1 raised to n, 1 to n and n square. Now here, as we make expand this particular term, we are getting 1 square, 2 square and n square and this is nothing but exponentially increasing and this term is getting, we are getting the answer as infinity and 1 upon 2 n plus 1, when we put infinity, 2 into infinity is 0, 1 by 0 is 1 by infinity, 2 into infinity is infinity and 1 by infinity is 0. 0 in, into infinity is not defined. Therefore, this signal is neither energy nor power signal. In exam, the question comes like this. Uh, like this. Justify unit RAM signal is neither energy nor power signal. The definition of the previous problem and this is very similar. It is only less than or equal to 0. But uh, the general, it represents the same signal. Therefore, this is a RAM signal and you can see that it is exponential increasing. So, for the same as previous problem, when we calculate the energy, we are getting the infinity. And when we calculate the power, we are getting the answer as a infinity. Only here that limit change 0. Instead of 1 to n, it is 0 to n. Otherwise, the answer is same. So, when such question comes, we require to explain with the help of example. Justify unit step sequence is a power signal. Now, unit step sequence is nothing but the, sequ the signal which is present on the positive side. Every time the value is 1, therefore the signal is periodic in nature. It having the indefinite length that is from 0 to infinity. And the signal fundamental period is 1 because every signal is 1, 1, 1. Therefore, fundamental period is 1. Therefore, when we try to calculate the energy for this signal, we are getting the answer infinity because u of n, u of n is always 1. The signal is here, it is 1, 1 to infinity. Signal is active from positive side. Therefore, it is 
zero to infinity, zero to infinity, and we are getting the answer infinite. And when we try to calculate the power, the signal is here initially limit is minus n to n, but after that signal is active from positive side, therefore zero to n and one. This summation is nothing but n plus one. When we take the n common, we are getting the power as one by two. Therefore, we can justify that unit step sequence is a power signal because for this power is non-zero and finite and energy is infinity. So this is all about the problems on uh, power and the energy of the signal. Thank you very much for listening the video. In the next video, I am going to take the examples on energy and power for the next level. If you like my videos, subscribe my channel. Thank you.